part of The Clash. The Clash recently began a nationwide tour in Bruce Springsteen's backyard, Asbury Park, New Jersey. But before the tour started, lead singer Joe Strummer disappeared for a month. MTV Music Television caught up with Strummer and asked him about his unusual vanishing act and the recent departure of drummer Topper Heaton. Well, I went to play some hooky. I lost 10 nil now. <laughs> and um, while I was playing hooky, everybody had a row, and Topper just decided that he obviously didn't think I was ever coming back. And uh, he decided to cut out. But it, me, me playing hooky didn't really have anything. You know, I wasn't trying to push Topper out. We are playing with a guy called Terry Chimes, who we played on our first record, first album. And uh, maybe we'll stick with him. Clash fans are notoriously exuberant. One fan overreacted on opening night and tossed an M80 firecracker on stage, wounding Joe Strummer in the leg. So I need to keep the beat with this one. It's a bit, bit of a drag. But despite all obstacles, The Clash's U.S. tour rolls on. In Asbury Park, New Jersey, this is Tom Mastry for MTV Music Television. I don't necessarily call throwing an M80 at somebody who's performing exuberant. I just plain call it dangerous. But that is our report of the clash coming up.